Hello, my name is Jones Muna. Today, we look at general nursing care plan. The general objective is to identify problems according to the system affected. The respiratory system. The respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help in breathing. It includes airways, lungs and blood vessels surrounding the alveoli. The muscles that power your lungs are also part of the respiratory system. These parts work together to move oxygen throughout the body and clean out waste gases like carbon dioxide. You can apply these identified problems to any condition that affect the respiratory system for example, asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, etc. 1. Impaired gaseous exchange. 2. Impaired breathing pattern. 3. Impaired verbal communication. 4. Ineffective airway clearance. 5. Chest pain. 6. Altered nutrition less than body requirements. 7. Activity intolerance. 8. Self-care deficit. 9. Risk for infection. 10. Anxiety. The central nervous system. The central nervous system, CNS, controls most functions of the body and mind. It consists of two parts, the brain and the spinal cord. The brain is the center of our thoughts, the interpreter of our external environment, and the origin of control over body movement. Apply these identified problems to those conditions affecting the level of consciousness and those of the nervous system such as cerebral vascular accident, CVA stroke, poliomyelitis, hydrocephalus, brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, meningitis, encephalitis etc. 1. Altered level of consciousness. 2. Ineffective airway clearance. 3. Impaired thermoregulation. 4. Impaired verbal communication. 5. Self-care deficit. 6. Risk of injury. 7. Risk for nutrition imbalance. 8. Risk for impaired skin integrity. 9. Risk for infection. 10. Knowledge deficit. The urinary system. The urinary system is made up of the kidneys, two, two ureters, one urinary bladder and one urethra. The urinary system's function is to filter blood and create urine as a waste byproduct. Note that any condition affecting the urinary system also affects the cardiovascular system, heart, because they work hand in hand. You cannot separate the kidneys from the heart. Apply these identified problems to any condition of the urinary system for example renal failure, nephrotic syndrome, glomerulonephritis, polonephritis, diabetes insipidus, renal tumors, and also those of the cardiovascular system such as congestive cardiac failure, CCF, hypertension etc. 1. Excess fluid volume. 2. Reduced cardiac output. 3. Disturbed sleep pattern. 4. Impaired breathing pattern. 5. Activity intolerance. 6. Knowledge deficit. 7. Risk for altered level of consciousness. 8. Risk for imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements. 9. Risk for impaired skin integrity. 10. Risk for infection. Psychiatry conditions. Psychiatry is the medical specialty devoted to the diagnosis, prevention, and treatment of mental disorders. These include various maladaptations related to mood, behavior, cognition, and perceptions. Apply these identified nursing problems to any psychiatry condition such as mania, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar mood disorder, delirium, dementia, etc. 1. Disturbed eating pattern. 2. Impaired verbal communication. 3. Disturbed sleep pattern. 4. Altered thought process. 5. Social isolation. 6. Risk of injury. 7. Self care deficit. 8. Knowledge deficit. 9. Activity intolerance. 10. Risk for infection. The cardiovascular system. The cardiovascular system is responsible for transporting nutrients and removing gaseous waste from the body. This system is comprised of the heart and the circulatory system. Structures of the cardiovascular system include the heart, blood vessels, and blood. Apply these identified problems to any condition of the cardiovascular system such as congestive cardiac failure, CCF, myocardial infarction, heart attack, hypertension, silent killer, and hypotension etc. 1. Excess fluid volume. 2. Ineffective breathing pattern. 3. Decreased cardiac output. 4. Chest pain. 5. Disturbed sleep pattern. 6. Activity intolerance. 7. Anxiety. 8. Risk for altered nutrition. 9. Risk for impaired skin integrity. 
10. Risk for infection. The digestive system. The human digestive system consists of the gastrointestinal tract plus the accessory organs of digestion. Digestion involves the breakdown of food into smaller and smaller components until they can be absorbed and assimilated into the body. Apply these identified problems to any condition affecting the digestive system such as gastritis, peptic ulcers, malabsorption, dysentery, typhoid, cholera, diarrhea, etc. 1. Imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements. 2. Risk for deficient fluid volume. 3. Decreased cardiac output. 4. Epigastric abdominal pain. 5. Disturbed sleep pattern. 6. Anxiety. 7. Activity intolerance. 8. Risk for impaired skin integrity. 9. Risk for infection. 10. Risk for impaired breathing pattern. The musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is made up of the body's bones, the skeleton, muscles, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, joints, and other connective tissue that supports and binds tissues and organs together. Its primary functions include supporting the body, allowing motion, and protecting vital organs. Apply these identified problems to any condition affecting the musculoskeletal system such as fractures, osteomyelitis, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and some post-operative procedures such amputation etc. 1. Impaired physical mobility. 2. Impaired skin integrity. 3. Disturbed body image. 4. Self-care deficit. 5. Joint pain. 6. Situational low self-esteem. 7. Knowledge deficit. 8. Risk for injury. 9. Risk for infection. 10. Risk for ineffective tissue perfusion.